Today I'll show you how to make a cute potted plant in Affinity Designer. This project is nice and easy, so anyone can follow along. Let's get started. After making a new document, the first thing we need to do is make the pot for our plant. To make the pot, I'm first going to start out by using the rectangle tool, and I'll just trace out a nice little rectangle like that. Now we can go ahead and adjust the colors. Over here in the color panel, I'm actually using the color sliders in this video, so to get to those, just go to the hamburger menu, and then click on sliders, and then in this area right here, make sure you're on HSL. I like using these sliders because it's very easy to adjust the colors slightly lighter and slightly darker, which we'll definitely be doing as we recolor these different colors we'll be using. So to start off, let's go to the stroke and just remove the stroke by clicking here. And then we can go back to the fill color, and we can choose a nice orange color. I kind of want it to look like terracotta. So this adjusts the hue, so we want it to be a little bit orangey. I think that saturation level looks nice, but I think I want to make it slightly lighter. Once you have a color you like, we can move on to the next part of our pot, which is the lip of the pot. Go ahead and click and drag your rectangle out like this. To make sure this is nice and centered on the pot's body down here, make sure you have snapping turned on. Then go ahead and grab the move tool and line it up in the center. I think this lid extends a little too far, so I'll just move it in and recenter it. Next, I want to add a little bit of a shadow underneath the lip of the pot. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool again, and I'll just click and drag like that to create a rectangle. I'll make it a darker color by coming over here to the luminosity slider and I'll drag that down. And then to make sure that this snaps just to the body of the pot, we don't want it overlapping like this, I'll make it a child layer by clicking the layer right on top of the body layer. Now you can see what that looks like and we can adjust this a little bit. So now that we have all of the pieces in place, it's time to create some style for this pot. The first thing I want to do is I want to round the corners here. So I'm going to grab the corner tool, then I'm going to select the lip, and I'll just highlight all of these nodes so I can round them at the same time. I'll click and drag to round them. You can round them as much as you'd like, but in this case I think I'll only round them slightly. That looks pretty good. And then I want to round these lower corners of the body. So I'll grab that layer, and I'll grab the corner tool, and then I'll select both of those nodes and bring them in. I want the body to look like it's tapering inward like this, so to do that I need to select the nodes down here. I'll select this one first, and on my keyboard I'm going to hold shift and use the arrow keys, to move it over three times. Then I'll move the other one in the same amount. One, two, three. By holding shift, we're moving 10 pixels at a time, and I think this looks pretty good for our pot. Okay, and as one last thing to add a little bit of style, I think it'd be nice to bow some of these lines a little bit. This will just help to make the pot look even more rounded. To do that, I'm going to hover right here in the center of this, and I'm going to drag it downward. You can hold shift if you'd like to keep your line exactly straight up and down. That way you know that this is bending perfectly symmetrically. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's do it to the lip next. I'll select that and drag this down, holding shift to keep it perfectly symmetrical. And last, we need to do this to the shadow. Now here's where things get a little tricky. Because we use the corner tool to adjust the corners of the lip and the body of the pot, those shapes were automatically converted to curves, and you can actually see that over in the layers panel. Instead of rectangle, it now says curve. So because of that, we were able to adjust the nodes and curve the line in between the nodes. To adjust this last part here though, we need to convert this shape to curves, so make sure you have that layer selected, and then convert it to curves up here. And now we can go ahead and hold shift and bring this down. I want it to curve at about the same curvature as the lip up here, so I need to bring it down quite a bit, 
but now the shadow looks too large, so I'll just grab the move tool, and I'm going to bring this upward. Okay, before we move on to the next part, I want to add another shadow to the pot. This time, I want the entire right side of the pot to be shadowed. I'll grab the rectangle tool, and I'll draw a rectangle on the right side. I'll grab the move tool and make sure this is centered. Yep, that looks good. Now, because we had the shadow selected, this is placed as a child layer. Go ahead and drag that all the way to the top. And now we can use this to create our shadow. I'm going to darken the color over here, like that, and then I want this to snap to all of these different shapes. Now this is a little bit tricky, but we have a new tool that can help us out called the Shape Builder. First select all of the shapes. To do that, hold down Shift and click on them. So I have the first one selected, I'm holding Shift and clicking on the last one. So all of those are selected, and then grab the Shape Builder. Using this, we can isolate different parts of the shapes and manipulate them how we want. In this case, I want this area to completely disappear. So I'll select it, and then up here where it says Action, I'll click on Subtract. All right, so now we have this shape perfectly snapped to all of the different areas of the pot, and we can just reduce the opacity to make this look like a shadow. Okay, with that done, I want to create the opening for the pot right up here. It should probably be rounded, just like all these other areas, so that we can see the dirt inside and place the plant right there. Now, doing this might be a little bit tricky, but using the Shape Builder, we should be able to figure out this little puzzle. First, I'm going to grab the Ellipse tool, and I'm just going to click and drag to create an ellipse like that. To make sure I like where it's placed on the pot, I'm just going to lower the opacity of this ellipse. Then I'll use the Move tool to adjust how it looks. I think I'm going to use the arrow keys just to bump this up slightly. Okay, I think that amount looks pretty good. It has a similar curvature to this part of the pot down here. So we'll take that. Now I'm just going to increase the opacity of this again, and I'll select all of our shapes by holding shift and clicking, and then we can use the shape builder to remove this extra part up here. I'll click on that and then press subtract. All right, so now we have the dirt inside of our pot. That looks pretty good, but I think I want it to be a lighter color, so I'll select it and brighten that up. So at this point, the pot is pretty much finished, but before we add our plants in, I want to show you a little problem that we have. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool, and I'm just going to draw out a little placeholder plant. I'll go ahead and make this green. And I'll grab the move tool. When I place the plants in the pot, I want them to sit on top of the dirt, so I want it overlapping like this but I want the plant to be tucked underneath this lip right here. So if I do that, if I drag it underneath everything, you can see that it's underneath the lip, but now the dirt is in front of it. All right, well, let's just move the dirt underneath that. Unfortunately, the lip is taking up all of that space, so we can't see the dirt or the plant anymore. This means that we need to cut the shape right here out of the lip so that we can see the dirt underneath it. Now, doing this isn't difficult. We have all the tools we need, but sometimes it is a little bit of a puzzle to figure out the steps. So here's how we'll solve that problem. Bring the dirt layer above the lip layer. Then select the dirt and the lip by holding shift and clicking on those layers, and then bring out the shape builder. So far, we've just been subtracting shapes. Up here in the actions, you can see we can also add shapes together. But another new one is right here. If we use this option, we'll create a new shape from the selected areas. I want to do that by making this a new shape all on its own. So I'll click on that option. Over here in the layers, you can now see we have three different shapes created. We have the lip that's been cut out. We have the dirt, 
and we have the original lip. I'm going to grab the move tool and drag that to the side so you can see that we actually don't need that anymore. We have the two shapes we need right here, so I'll just delete this curve. And now we can place the plant right in between. And you can see that this looks just how we want it to. This looks pretty good, but there is still one thing I don't like, and that's the way this shadow is overlapping on the dirt. Let's take care of that with the shape builder. I'll select the shadow and the lip right here by holding shift. Then with the shape builder, I'm going to use the subtract option to just remove this part. Okay, with our pot finished, we can now make the plant. So I'll just delete this placeholder plant. And then I'm going to grab the pen tool. Now before I start using the pen tool, I want to turn off snapping so that I don't get annoying snapping lines. Our plant should be a little bit more free flowing and I don't really care if it's perfectly centered. So I'll just turn that off. Now using the pen tool, I'm just going to start low down here and I'll click and drag. And then I'll click and drag one more time off to the side like this. So this will be the stem of our plant. Right now you can't really see it, so we need to make some adjustments to the stroke of this line. I'll go to the stroke panel and I'll increase the width. I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll go to the color panel. I'll choose the stroke and let's make this a nice green color. I want this to be a pretty light green color, so I think that looks good. Now, before we move on, I think I need to make a little adjustment to the layers right here. The body needs to sit on top of the plant, so I'll grab that layer and bring it up. And with this line selected, we can now adjust the height of it if we want to. Maybe I want it a little bit taller. Okay, so that was a pretty easy start to making our plant. The next thing we need to do is make the leaves. To make the leaves, I'm going to use the tier tool, which you can get to by clicking on this little triangle and then going down to where it says tier tool. Click and drag out a tier shape. And then over in the color panel, let's just get rid of the stroke. And I want this to be the exact same color as the stem. So with the fill selected, I'm just going to sample the stem's color and then I'll apply it to the tier. All right, now we simply need to use the move tool to rotate this and then place it right here on the stem. We can adjust how short the leaves are or how long they are. It's just personal preference. And we can get them placed about like that. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now I'm going to show you how to duplicate this down the stem. It's pretty easy. Using the move tool, just hold down Command or Control on your keyboard, and then you can click and drag to duplicate it. Once you've done that, you can release Command or Control, and now we can just increase the size and adjust the rotation a little bit, and place it like that. I'm going to do this a few more times down the stem. I think it looks good to mix up the rotation a little bit, just so they don't look quite so uniform. With that side done, I want to repeat this on the other side. So I'll take this first top leaf here and I'll just hold down Command or Control to duplicate it. Now on this side, I want there to be a darker green color. As you can see in our plant pot, we have a darker shadow on this side. So I think this side of the plant should all be darker too. I'll change the fill color to a slightly darker color. But now you can see it overlaps with the stem and it looks sort of weird. So I'm just going to drag this underneath our stem layer. And I think that looks better. Okay, I'll just duplicate it down the stem now. Okay, and with that, we're done with this plant. I'm just going to select the top layer, then I'll scroll down and hold shift to select all of the layers, and then I'll group them together with command or control G. Now we can adjust where this is placed. I think this looks pretty good. And I think to finish off this plant, I just want to create one more stem. 
Now, to save ourselves some time, I think I'll just duplicate this one. So I'll hold Command or Control and I'll click and drag. Then I'll flip it horizontally like that. And then I'll make it a little bit smaller. I think I'll rotate it a little. And now all we need to do is adjust the colors a little bit. So opening up this group, I'll first start with all of these darker leaves down here. I'll select them all, and let's just make them a little bit darker still. That way they stand out against the leaves behind them. And then I'll make these leaves even darker, since this should be the shadowy side. Okay, I like how that color looks. I'll just select the stem now, and I'm going to make the stroke color the same darkest color that we just created. All right, and with that, I'll just select all of the layers, and using the Move tool, I'll make sure this looks nice and centered. All right, now you know how to make a potted plant. This was just the beginning of what you can do in Affinity Designer. If you want to learn even more about the different tools and tricks you can use to create your amazing designs, go ahead and check out my Affinity Designer course. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.